So let's go for game number two on Oasis. And Earth has actually switched from set in Tura. So probably, hopefully, we'll have another mirror between them, between him and Magic. The first to have a look at though is Earth, and it seems like he is in a pocket. Or actually, he is not. He's on the right side, and <laughs> he's actually again playing against Magic. So that's a very nice matchup right now, number two. So it's going to be Ra against Ra for him. He's going for a standard hunt for the zebras on the left, of course. His wood line seems to be oh, kind of okay. -ish. Yeah, it's at the back, so he's very open in the forefront. So he will be very hard to wall in against potentially a identity who is playing pocket for a gen. So let's see how that will work out for him. And otherwise, quite a lot of berries. And we, at this point, don't see anything interesting because it's obviously just out of the game. Problem for him could be that he's quite far away from his teammates. And it's like a whole map between them. And he will be very limited in help from his allies if they don't play this right. Which could result in a slight problem because magic I don't want to take Earth down, but Magic should be in 1v1 better than that. So let's see how the team game will work for them. Hellenic in the pocket playing Zeus. He's already having hunting dogs, I would guess, of course. And otherwise, quite a lot of berries as well. Woodline seems to be kind of okayish. And what's this? 10% villager gold get rate. Oh, that's pretty sweet for him. Uh, but more, for, more than for him, for his ally Earth. So definitely should make sure that they do cover this relic. What's this other one? 5% villager. Wow, these are some great relics on JS's side here. <laughs> They're going to be having some Econ steroids, really. And this is a very great hunt between uh, Hellenic and Chef. And I don't really see any extra behind beside that. Oh, wow. Okay, now I do. So this is definitely uh, Hellenic's and this is going to be Chef's. So Chef's position is probably the same as his allies. Yeah, having very nice zebras at the start. One stray on the left and lion here as well. Otherwise, the TC in the front is kind of okay position, no problem whatsoever. And if you look at the home at the map, mini map, you see that the oasis is a two way. Two big oasis. Oasis. God damn it. Double oasis in the middle. Uh, first to have a look at from a gen. From a gen is LMB. Is having also a pretty standard map. The front DC is okay, no problem whatsoever. This goal is kind of interestingly placed together with this one and should result in some very nice fighting between him and the Zeus chef for the control of the middle of the map here between them. Otherwise, or front hunt for the giraffes, which is reasonably secure in the middle, and some relic in the middle, better archer, ballista, and so on, pierce attack. Well, not half bad, not half bad at all. The pocket for region is T2, who is right now gathering food where? Still from the zebras, but he has already discovered the giraffes together with the gazelle on the right side. And will be quite safe with food gathering and gold gathering in the late game as well, as you can see. In the middle, we sees, uh, he sees at least a, a lot of berries, so no problem for him. Extra lions, not all that great. One zebra as well, <laughs> but still, it can all amount to some reasonable hunt if you need to and are desperate enough. And well, Magic is the last one to have a look at from Regen, and he's going for a pretty much standard start with gathering from the goatees here and going for quite a lot of gold gathering at this point. So he's already 20% in Tuptach, so that's a very fast advance, like 420 as well. That's pretty fast. I was just looking for his opponent. Well, Earth is definitely not emulating him. He will be quite a lot slower by at least a half minute. Right now, get it in from his goats near, near his TC. So, possibly hoping for advance as well. But at this point, <laughs> he's trying to somehow make sure that he's walled because his position is absolutely open altogether. So, he needs to make, he needs to somehow protect the gold. Still, quite a lot of there. Other than that, he will have to be quite adventurous with his next gold mine because this in the middle will last him just a moment. Just a moment. What can I expect that other players are already advancing as well? Hellenic as a pocket is already 30% into Hermes. I was looking for Chef just now clicking in 5%. And Magic is the first one as an Aggie, which is kind of unusual. And his teammate's LMB is 50%. Freya and Val. It is not even advancing yet. That's 
really curious at this point and this is the reason he is going for echo he's not going for aggression so it seems like they will be booming the asses of regions here and definitely trying to catch their opponents off guard and this is the reason for the faster advance from magic he wanted the echo boost as soon as possible and this is a very fast second tc sub five minutes even before his ally or rather opponent is in the next age so that's going to be damn strong a double boom and yep, this wall is nice, but I'm kind of thinking it won't be needed at all. The only one to make a wall in the middle is right now Chef. And well, I would kind of expect that somebody from uh, region should be doing the same, because it's uh, yeah quite risky to have the way open right inside the middle of your bases. 100% from Prometheus, tied to right now. And what do we see from the Echo upgrades? Uh, nothing from Magic yet. How is it looking for the Adra? He's having at least a pickaxe. And stable is being built by Hellenic and some other upgrades. Yep, just a pickaxe as well, which is kind of standard. And <laughs> Chef is just now finishing the wall here. But without any gate, <laughs> this poor guy can actually go somewhere forward and wreak havoc inside the bases of his opponents. But right now, he is let out. Chef is really taking his responsibility of falling up quite seriously, already having his base walled up very securely, which means that LMB is not doing anything at this point. So being ready to find the, uh, the center here from Chef, but otherwise going for a second DC as well, and it definitely seems like this is the standard play from uh, the regions. They definitely aim to outboom all of their opponents. Uh, Tito is right now being forced out of his hunt, which is very unfortunate as Earth is going for some Sphinx raiding, which is very nice, and Magic will be trying to make somehow put a stop to that through the budget, which is a pretty good unit at that, together with the TC. But well, uh, better be careful here, Tito. Almost dead, that one really. Well, this Pharaoh will definitely have to stick to this position, otherwise the Willy will die, and possibly Quite some others. Magic at the same time is still booming off, uh, finally having a pickaxe for some stronger echo. And is he making some use? No, he actually isn't. I was thinking since he's playing Ra, he would have expected the rain from his opponent as well, but he isn't making any use of it. But instead, he is taking 30 C, and he will be very, very fast at it. Very fast at <laughs> the 30 C, and well. Earth is right now going for a fast heroic and not really for an echo, so let's see what kind of approach is going to be more God damn it, more valuable at this point. So forest fire being cast uh, somewhere at the back. So that means that uh, some of the wood line here at the back for Hellenic is out of position and he will have to move somewhere yeah, like here. So that's absolutely no problem for him and the forest fire was just Find the nuisance and not anything game changing, but it did take a bolt, at least one of them, and there's just one left, and it might potentially open a way for Magic's Son of Osiris, Azera. Well, let's see how that will work out. Magic is very happy with the position in the middle of the map. Right now, he's trying to secure it as much as he can. Yeah, it's open the same as it's open for Earth, and Earth is right now going for a front TC. So let's see if Magic can somehow stop it. Uh, kind of think that he can't, he doesn't have any army, just a budget, and he's not paying any attention at all. He didn't have the line of sight if it ended like this way, approximately. Uh, so, he will be under an attack pretty soon, I would expect, because this gold gathering is very open, and if he is not careful, uh, Earth is going to use at least some Migdol units once he builds them and possibly even those sphinxes to take that down. Right now he will discover that the wall is being built. Yeah, so goodbye. <laughs> goodbye this Willy. But he will also see that magic is already at the 30 C and this is not a good position for him to take. So segment for Earth with two TCs and magic right now casting uh, his own raid at four farms and quite a lot of them at the back. So that's a bonus for him. And also, of course, for the other app, as was expected. And will we see some Scarab Rush? Well, he's not building anything extra. Having Village of Gold together 8 and building Crush Armor. So that's pretty good relics for a Nagy to be having. And in the middle, we see some early fighting at 10 minutes, almost. 
between Titu and his opponent Chef. So these guys are pretty much the only ones trying to go for some aggression together with Hellenic at this point. And well, it seems like the battle is bre breaking off and Hellenic will be going for some raiding on Magic. Will that be successful? Quite potentially. And these Sphinxes are pretty dangerous because, yeah, Titu has absolutely nothing that he can do about that. And he will be caught off guard here with a bit of proper micro. Mm, he can't keep it off the tower, but still, that's very dangerous here, very dangerous for the regen team. On the left side, there's not going to be a skirmish, because LMB doesn't have the correct units to fight against all this chef's army, and right now, chef at the same time is having medium, medium hippicons, and just has discovered where LMB is gathering gold. That's a very crucial spot at this point. Well, not a good time to be LMB at this point. Since he's having second TC, he should be having decent echo, uh, as opposed to his opponents who went for the echo later. But if he can't gather anything from here, it's not going to be sweet. And this is exactly what happens when you don't wall in the middle on Oasis. You just let your opponents through without any problem. Magic is right now fighting himself under attack from the Scarabs. So double Scarabs are right here, and even though Magic has at least one uh, priest here, second priest right now, they should be dealing quite a lot of damage, especially under the Eclipse, so that the DC will die and quite some gold will be wasted on those mercenaries. Yep, so goodbye DC from Magic. Goodbye, and even though he advances into Heroic through Hathor, this lost DC is definitely something he did not expect and did not want, because he's right now having just two barracks, right now three, uh, three barracks, and... That not, might not be enough, because Chef, uh, Hellenic is making an appearance on his right battlefield as well, and Magic is under proper double. Heck, you can see the front base here from Hellenic making his way here as well, and it doesn't seem like Titu will be in time to stop the attack on Magic in time. And he's not having any military buildings whatsoever, so if he's sending some reinforcements, well, that's not going to work out very well. At the same time, <laughs> Magic is very heavily raided on his gold on the back. One, two, three. At least three Willis, four, five Willis dead. So that's pretty important. Both gold staff and Willis dead. Even though Tito has finally been able to corner them with three TCs. That's not at this point all, this, all that important. On the left side, uh, LMB is taking a fight with Chef and is quite decidedly losing, which is expected as fighting is Thor against a pretty good Zeus, against medium epicons here, but since he's in Heroic and having the boss, he is somehow able to stop the attack from Chef, so pretty good job on that, even though Chef is going to be a 3 TCs pretty soon, and it doesn't seem like uh, LMB is right now at a good spot. So that's Magic, going for some raiding with the rock, and... Huh, just in placing of Locus, but it's really paying off because he has killed quite a lot of farms, almost all of them, and some Willis with them quite assuredly as well. So a proper 2v2 going on between Magic T2 and his opponents. Their opponents are together with Hellenic. It seems like the position will be maybe lost, but this Migdol could turn this all around because that's going to be all the extra fire that they need to stop all these extra units from making a further move inside their bases. This way is still, is still making, uh, is still free though. So they better be careful. Uh, regen so that they are not surprised and this is a place and spot and time for Magic to try to secure the 30 C again. And it's not half bad. With the Citadel being cast by Earth, I think the Citadel will be coming here uh, from Magic as well. Let's see how that will work out. The TC should be coming up, it doesn't seem like uh, JSS were interested in taking it down, but... Ah, okay. I was kinda hoping that this Scarab might be making another attempt at the TC, but he isn't, he's right now dead. And it seems like Magic's boom yielded him quite a lot of gold so that he can right now boost his army with the use of these extra mercenaries and potentially stop all the attacks from his opponents at this stage. Uh, some bit of raiding. That's actually pretty serious raiding him from a Chef, with quite a lot of Hippicons inside the bases here, and finally someone was trying to make a wall, but it was Titu, which I don't think it was the correct player, because the one really takes quite a lot of 
uh, from Mr. Konami and he wasn't able to finish, so still a huge problem in the middle with JS's armies. Drickling through the middle, inside the base here. LMB is right now through Balder. That could be a very good surprise for his opponents, because Chef is right now having absolutely no army at the left, and if he goes Balder now, what are actually his willies? Uh, almost 80, so he's very close to actually casting it. So let's see how that will work out. And Earth, <laughs> still having the Sphinxes from the early start. Yeah, Ragnarok just now cast. And they are pretty hard to take care of. But with the birdie here and some few heroes, the two should be getting rid of them and saving the TC as well. So pretty good job on that. And this Radiant is not paying off as much as Jesses would have hoped, I think. And it's all resulting into the right side actually going into Magic's favor right now. He is having 3 TCs and fighting against 3 TC Earth together with Hellenic. So he is fighting 2 versus 1 just thanks to the mercenaries. Chef? As cast ceasefire, probably because of this uh, Ragnarok here on the left, quite definitely. But he could have waited for the flame weapons potentially, but he wasn't really thinking that he could do enough hmm. so that he would force them. And Hellenic is still at classical. Well, let's have a look at his TCs. Yeah, 550% at least onto Apollo here. So, yep, he is preparing into the advance. Sphinx here, a radium from Chef on the back as well. And I'm kind of waiting right now for the double underworld position and against as their oasis, they will be pretty strong here. Is Chef maybe advancing into Mythic? Where? No, he isn't yet, but he's having a pretty good <laughs> military barracks here prepared and he's definitely thinking about the Mythic Age very soon. And Hippaspis will be making an appearance against all those heroes of Ragnarok. <laughs> At least the baseline of upgrades, and I was looking for these heroes of Ragnarok. Uh, baseline of better beast armor, but there's still a pretty strong army, and right now, will it be flaming weapons from him, which would cause uh, the second ceasefire being cast by Hellenic most definitely. So he probably doesn't want to do that, but he wants to have some units close by and try to capture the DC once he forces the second ceasefire. On the right side, uh, Magic is still trying to somehow take down the Citadel from Earth, but he's not really successful and Migdols are cropping up. So the position is going to be all that much harder to take down for him, but he definitely at this point doesn't need to take it down. He just needs to bind all both those armies from Hellenic and Magic and let the left side of uh, LMB's Ragnarok somehow do his job and kill Chef if he can. That's quite a decent amount <laughs> of a pass pissed here. That's going to be a slight problem, and probably the flame weapons, yep. So is this going to be second ceasefire? Yep. And come on, come on LMB, you should be taken for the DC. Come on, come on, fast, start fast. You go for it. You go for it. Oh well, I'm just going to have it clicked for the moment. Finally, is he going for it? Yep, yep, yep. Please, please go for it. I don't believe he's going for Shep here. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> he was just in time. Uh, 30 minutes should be more more than fine with Heroes of Ragnarok to take the DC. So, pretty good job. Exactly what needed to happen. And a huge problem for JSS because Chef is at a pretty terrible position. And since this is more or less equal, and Tito is finally making an appearance again, uh, somehow securing the middle probably. Yeah, with upgraded walls. So, nobody is getting through. This should be quite a good play from him, uh, but this Sphinx is very dangerous because it's still able to cast some uh, Underworld Passage. Yep, they need to get somehow rid of it. And hello, hello, <laughs> Mythical Titu making a uh, Vortex right at the gold of Earth at a pretty opportune time because this will probably mean that Magic is interested in somehow pushing through this base. Uh, at the same time, I'm not exactly sure how he wants to do that without any siege whatsoever. But probably he just wants to buy his time and... Well, let's see how is it looking on the left. The TC from uh, Chef is not going to be taken down, especially because of this nice tower spam and extra help from Hellenic, who is finally recognizing that he needs to be helped on the left. So, very opportune time to advance for Earth. 
En Tornado, ik wil dit take down, de DC. At this point I would have to say yes, because there are not any buildings uh, to actually absorb the damage. But oh, there was quite a lot of units that Magic actually sent to their deaths, and the DC is still up, and Magic is at Mythic Age. So the <laughs> Tornado actually wasn't all that powerful as Earth may be hoped for. Not exactly sure if all these chariot archers are the correct unit here. If they don't want to just hold and wait for his ally uh, Hellenic to advance into Mythic, that might be also the plan from JSS and wouldn't be half bad. But we have to look at the middle here, where Earth is trying to do some very nice shenanigans with a forward base uh, <laughs> teach workshop temple, but unfortunately he has just been found out by Titu, and Titu should be taking care of that. Well, that's quite interesting wood gathering, and it's actually, I think, uh, make um, meant make a way around this wall here surprisingly at some point so yeah let's see how that will happen so Earth's idea kind of stopped here but his vortex is still very hard to deal with for Earth who has been forced both of the gold uh, up the top and right now he has lost the TC as well and not even Hellenix uh, Hippicons almost dead are going to stop that so pretty good job by the player on the right side and on the left, well, it seems like the 40 Cs against the 2 plus some extra help from Hellenic is not enough to, st to stop LMB on the left side, who is trying to make an attempt at this DC still. Uh, how is it looking with this upgrade? Still having just baseline here. Could use some extras. Definitely could, but once he takes down this TC, um, they might not be needed actually all that much. Three fire giants, yep, that should be more than enough to take down the TC without extra heroes. But Odysseus is at the scene, um, but with a proper, mi proper micro, LMB could be taking him down. But he doesn't really have any army, which is slightly weird, because I would expect him to have a pretty decent echo with having a nice boom from the start, but that's not really what is happening at this point. And right now, <laughs> Earth is in a, in a pretty difficult position, because he is trying to fight magic on the right uh, with the mercenaries and whatnot and his full army, but on the left he is being attacked by Titu and the Vortex army, and well, finally he's being helped by Hellenic, who is in Mythical Age, and he is Mythical Zeus at 3 TCs, so he could be the one that switches the momentum back into JS's favor. Chef is also advanced to Mythic, so double Mythic Zeus from JSS at this point, which should be pretty dangerous for our region, and they definitely need to hurry up if they want to somehow close the game. Because again, we will see the same stuff we saw last game, where Norse in Mythical Age has a very difficult time dealing with Zeus, with all the upgrades, Myrmidons and whatnot. So yep, right now it seems like LMB will be needing some extra help, so even though he's at 40 Cs, he definitely doesn't have the army for it. You can see that this is not 40 C army whatsoever. Right now, Tito going for a Titan at least, and well, this is exactly what is happening right now. Since he doesn't have the army and didn't push strong enough, he is going to find himself at the short end of the stake, and Chef will take down the DC, and once he retakes it, LMB's position will very fast and very quickly be getting worse by the second. Uh, Magic right now is still keeping <laughs> happy and engaged both of these armies from Earth and Hellenic. Earth has been able to retake his third TC, but in, let's have a look in the middle here, where <laughs> Titu has broken through the walls with quite some nice army of Arcusis, Arcai, uh, together with destroyers. And, well, this is going to be a very nasty surprise for Hellenic. And building towers is not exactly going to help you <laughs> against all those destroyers. Very nice upgrades, full line. Uh, and uh, I want this one, baseline for Hellenic, but that should be getting better by the minute because of the cheaper heroic, or rather, uh, Mythical Zeus and Hephaestos upgrades. So pretty good job and very nice surprise by T2, but we mustn't forget that JSS still have double underworld passage. On the left side, yep, Chef has retaken his 30C and this is very, very late to actually start building, especially with just two units against the <laughs> upgraded Petroboli and all the units that Chef right now has. He is entering the beast mode with this Zeus. 
the very hard times are coming for LMB. On the right side is more or less a stall situation between Earth and Magic. There's absolutely nothing happening and the, f the front line is not moving absolutely anywhere. It hasn't moved in like the last 10 minutes. And it's not going anywhere anytime soon. I kind of think, but I might be wrong here because uh, these minis are not repairing. It seems like Earth is very strained for gold because of the mercenary battle here. And once this citadel is actually down, it might be time for Magic to push through here. Hmm. At the same time, uh, T2 is going for a Titan Gate, so we might be expecting some Underworld Passage, but for that, uh, GSS will need some line of sight, which they don't have at this point. Uh, and, ah uh, yeah, finally some Catapult making a... Uh, entering the battlefield after those two initial were killed. And well, Earth is really not in a great position. He is really not. He is having his hands full trying to defend. But he is defending well enough uh, to allow Chef actually to storm through the left side without any problem whatsoever. There, has, there is no opposition from LMB who has just lost the third EC and this will result into Chef having just the fourth. In the middle T2 is trying to somehow keep uh, Hellenic entertained, but uh, yeah. He's doing reasonably well, but he needs to keep Hellenic at just two TCs. If he can, if he can, he should be having a reasonable game against the Mythical Zeus, especially when he's using the correct unit champion Fanatics, which are absolutely great uh, against even Myrmidons. And if he can somehow manage to take the TC, possibly, he would be in a very, very sweet spot. But he needs to hurry up, because once the Titan is up, that's going to be 20 less pop. And he will probably uh, be losing to Helene because that's going to be like TCs against TCs. Chef uh, recognizes that he is in a pretty strong position going for a Titan of his own, which I think he can afford very easily. Because as you can see, he's right in the middle of LMB's base. <laughs> right now, even T2 is trying to make sky passages, which is not something that you see all that often. Well, they don't have Underworld passage, so they have to do at least something. Well. LMB definitely needs help, and he needs a very serious help indeed, because this position is lost for him, and he can't defend it by himself. Anyway, yeah, final T2 making an appearance here in the middle, uh, somehow trying to, yeah, vacate the position in the middle, trying to build some building spam back against those three colossi. That's not going to be enough at all. It's not going to be enough at all. The Titan though seems to be coming up, yep, without much problem uh, but since he's very far away from this titan gate i kind of don't think he will be in time so let's see where he will decide to go the position at the top seems to be more or less contained but he, chef is at four and it's taken all the titus uh, effort together with lmb all right now it's all up to magic who has finally be, been able to take down the <laughs> ec from earth and well is this going to be the dis the point in the game that's going to decide it? Quite possibly could be, because right now Magic is at 4 TCs, which means he's moving his line of mercenaries a bit forward. And he's having all the extra pop, so with a proper micro, which really we can expect from player of Magic Excalibur, he should be actually able to push through, and once he limits Earth to possibly just 1 TC, he will be really up for the taking from the left, but the double mythic Zeus is a serious problem and really this is just a race of time. If the left side will be faster from a GSS or the bottom side or magic <laughs> will be faster than Earth. The battle here is though going pretty well with the two employing quite a lot of archive together with some military. And Titan is making an appearance on the left, which will result in Chef being dropped to possibly just two TCs. But with... Aha, uh -huh, we don't even have another bot, so it's going to be a proper 1v1 of the Titans here. Better off on in the spot, but this uh, Ballistae could be actually pretty good against the Titan here. I was thinking that the Helipoli 
uh, sorry, together with the heroes should be given some edge uh, to JSS, but that probably won't be the case. And here we go with the Underworld Passage at the back of the use base. And finally, Vortex being cast, but it's not going to be all that useful. It's just going to kill a few units, but definitely not to those Colossi. And the Legions are already moving in, trying to secure uh, the position of this Underworld Passage. And they will be very hungry for the DCs here very soon. So that's the power of Underworld Passage. And second is still in place for Chef to make use of any time. This is at the same uh, time pretty dangerous for a region altogether, because this will stop the trade route, which will be a very serious problem for Magic. If he can't get um, a very good supply of gold, he might not be able to kill his opponent Earth, but with this amount, <laughs> well, 7 catapults, he is probably going to put him down to just 1. And right now it seems like proper mercenary battle between both of these Ras. Definitely advantage is right now though and JS side because of the disruptive trade route and there Earth somehow might be able to get back into the game. Let's see if that will happen. The Titan at the top from JSS is dead. Uh, her chef is still alive but just 800 hit points and these ballistae are trying to make sure that they will put the dent in this armor as much as they can and yeah, the titan won't be making any damage anytime soon but still, since the titan is down will still be chef at 4 TC's against 2 TC Norse LMB LMB is having all kinds of problems now how containing the situation in the middle, position is very much secure for Hellenic I would have to say he is having a military academy and second is uh, cropping up this will bind all Titus army at the back of his base, which means that LMB will be all alone. Yeah, we probably expect that that will go for him. Not a very good spots, not a very good spots indeed. And well, Sky Passage down, so that's not going to be any quick help from his ally either. And Magic is probably the only one that can somehow tilt the game in the region's favor. They are leading at points. Quite substantially, actually, which is very curious. But the mythical Zeus's are knocking on the doors and, well, thinking about winning the game here. So, really, this is most definitely Magic's game for the taking. He is the only one right now who can somehow make it a win for Regen. So, good luck with that, and let's see if that can happen. Right now, he is in a position to actually steal the 50C. But he should start thinking about the backs, uh, about the back of his base as well, which he is most definitely, as he knows he needs to protect this trade route. Right now, it's going, it's going from for a that more favorable position. And yeah, we actually see that the underworld passage has been killed, and very good job by Titu. I did not expect that at all. I'm <laughs> so sorry for that, for underestimating Titu. And well. Yeah, he's proving me wrong, and T2 with Magic are doing a very great job game all together. And since LMB is not playing half bad at this stage of the game, uh, keeping Chef at just this line of battle, which is just enough what they need, could be all it takes. Alright, so second Underworld Passage is being cast as well, and well, the last Vortex for T2 is being used as well. So pretty good use of it, I have to say. And this will probably result in the Underworld Passage being killed as well. All these fanatics here should be in a pretty good spot. And even though Magic will probably lose this one TC, or probably, he might not even lose it, because all those archives that are <laughs> being heroes might be able to deal with the problem before it starts to be all that problematic. So let's have it click the TC and see how fast it goes. Under passage is gone. And that's actually not something that JSS were counting with, I think. They were hoping that they would uh, take down the TCs, which is not happening. Yeah, uh, Colossi are dead. And that might be the game for them, but it isn't. And it resulted in just two underworld passages. Well, more or less been wasted here, which is pretty curious. And Magic, at least for JSS, that's a small victory, wasn't able to retake the TC and he would be at 5. But well, it's just a question of time, because at this point Hellenic has to help his teammate Earth, because he can't absolutely do anything with just 1 TC against 4. On the left, at the same time, uh, LMB needs all the help he can get. 
and he was getting it from T2, but he had to teleport himself into the Underworld Passage. And right now he is moving into the middle, middle and he will maybe try to do the same stuff that he did a moment before, and they are maybe at this point sacrificing LMB uh, in hopes that they can somehow conquer the middle and the bottom as well. Not exactly sure if that's the wisest of ideas, but that's definitely what is happening at this point. Yeah, T2 is not helping him, it seems. He's trying to make a sky passage, so he's at least somehow trying to do so, and LMB's quest right now is just have enough Ulsarks and as many towers as he can to stop this opponent's advance, which is not a bad idea. The second underworld passage, or rather sky passage, is gonna be from here, okay. So it seems like T2 is trying to go through the middle and bind all Hellenic's army, which should result in Mista, or rather Magic, having free reign of Earth's base, and right now that's exactly what is happening. He's having just some Chariot Archers, but with having one TC and Catapults trying to get rid of the big dolls here, yep, this is just a matter of time bit and before Magic takes the 5th TC and is an absolutely unstoppable beast with his uh, mercenaries and whatnot. At the top, Chef is though becoming the beast that Magic wants to be, right now at 5 TCs, and the more TCs he has, the more dangerous will be will he be, and LMB definitely cannot keep up with the building spam as those extra pop limit Colossi together with Helepoli and the Myrmidons and whatnot will rest, he's just doing his job, and he is definitely advancing much faster than his opponents at the bottom and the middle. Uh, right now T2 is fighting with all the Hellenic armies and he will probably be forced to retreat and defend his bases because right now it results in the trade route being disrupted yet again. And probably Magic should think about switching his trade route from here uh, to his front TC here so that they don't go through the backside that is pretty much lost for him and his team altogether. Another attempt is being made by Magic for the TC and he's forced to uh, rethink that yet again, which is kind of curious. Still not uh, able to lose, uh, make use of his TC advantage to the fullest. Which I find highly curious at this point of the game. And well, Earth is definitely doing a very huge job and in himself with one TC against the Beast Magic here. At the top, uh, LMB. He's basically forced out of everything. <laughs> 12 gold left in the starting Thor gold mine, okay. But he is doing all he can to actually stop his opponents from coming in too fast. Oh, still not really good enough as Chef is retaking 6 TCs. 6 TCs, which means there won't be absolutely anything that they can do to stop them. And Titus' advance through the middle is just not fast enough. And even though he's biding all Hellenix's army, He's not going anywhere, he's just still where he started just a few minutes ago. At the bottom Magic is having his hands full with his opponent Earth not, a, not being able to retake the TC at all. At all, and another attempt is right now being made but it won't really stand as, yep, Earth is making use of this catapult that's not being taken down by his opponent very nicely, controlling the TC and right now trying to take down the Migdol. And just a bit of trade here from LMB as the red dot and Chef is advancing faster than his opponents quite assuredly. Right now trying to make sure that the fortress is in place, um, which is a very good idea because it will result in better map control but at the same time it's <laughs> under fire from the palace. So once it's up it's going to be kind of half dead and very easy to take down if there is any army, which there isn't and this is pretty horrible. Yeah, all those Colossi together with the Helepolite, it's just a destruction derby of the DCs at the fullest. Magic trying to go for a Titan, which is a pretty solid idea at this point, but will he be able to defend his Titan Gate? Uh, at this point I would have to say no, because there's quite a lot of army and it just will take uh, a few of those Myrmidons from Chef to go there and maybe he won't even care, because once he's at 7 DCs he can do absolutely anything he wants. And that's just how it is right now. Quite a lot of fillies from LMB at the back, trying to gather some in safety, which they are, but well, that's about it. And even though T2 is trying to retake the TC, <laughs> it seems like everything from Chef is 
kind of descending on the Titan Gate and the trade route as well. So Titan Gate well, should be killed because these guys are pretty close. Yeah, pretty close indeed. So the only chance for Magic is right now put in as many villages as he can so that they will be stopping at least the Colossi from uh, getting at the Titan Gate. But still the Helipoli are here and it's not like they are going to get killed. Well, that's going to result in a lot of dead villages and dead Titan Gate. And I'm kind of thinking maybe, just maybe, even a GG. Uh, this, at this point, that's kind of unfortunate because Magic is seemingly finally able to retake Eret's home TC. So right now he will be at 5. So is it finally time? Uh, yes! Finally TC is there. Finally TC is there, which should be Earth's basically a goodbye ticket from the game. But in the middle uh, T2 is losing, because he has to concentrate on the base uh, to somehow stop the chef. And that means that this is dead. Uh, Titan Gate is slowly being killed, but not altogether. And well... Son of a side. Oh come on! That was unfortunate. That was heavily unfortunate for Magic because if he did a bit, a, bit, a, a bit better micro, he could have killed with him all those Colossi. Well, now that won't be happening. Even though he's killed at least one of those, taking down the TC is much more crucial because that means no mercenaries coming in to help and they should be right now able to take down possibly another extra TC from T2 and also the Titan Gate which is curiously being unattended right now. As Chef is not paying attention to it and just giving an opportunity to his opponents to somehow take it down. But, well, might not be all that important. Uh, T2 is in the middle in a very difficult position because the wall is going to be breached, which will allow Hellenic to flood through the middle. And that should result in T2's TC and the building spam here in the middle somehow getting stopped possibly uh, in conjunction with Chef's army which is pretty huge and uh, his six TCs well it seems like LMB's and Titus uh, idea of game right now is to make us put a stop to everything and let magic somehow finally push through the left side once uh, he is able to take down this TC it could be all that standing between him and victory because the mercenaries are the only thing that's keeping Earth alive and kicking and he's kicking definitely well and good well, it's a very slow advance for him and once that TC is gone it would be seriously faster advance for him and well quite a lot of scare into the JSS lineup I would say so Tito has lost a TC here, but uh, since the Colossi, the Colossus is almost dead, it should result in the taking quite soon. Titan Gate is still very much alive, somehow wasn't taken down by Chef, so that was some kind of gentlemanly agreement or whatnot, because I definitely couldn't understand why all those Colossi didn't take it down, but well, they didn't. But, well, Hellenic is going for a Titan of his own, and that's basically just to nullify the one that Magic is right now going for. But it might be a tad too late because I fully expect that Magic will take the Titan and go... Well, well actually, I was having an idea that he might go in through the bottom to de decidedly put Earth out of the game and the mercenaries. But at the same time, he might be wanting to take Chef out of the game as well. And kind of free Titus' hands a bit and allow him to go through the middle into Hellenic as well. So the Titan Gate almost up, but Hellenic is making a strong appearance in the middle. Yeah, exactly. And that's what Titus needs to pay attention to, because otherwise that's going to be double sales in full strength. And well, it seems like Chef is taking 7th TC and Titus will be at just 2. So where is the Titan going? Is he going top or bottom? Close throw bets. And he's going top, and he's going top, and trying to stop <laughs> all those extra TCs on both Chef and possibly Hellenic. So let's see how that will work out. Uh, at the same time, the double here is pretty strong, and since LMB is doing just a building spam, not anything else, and Vito is the only one with the army here, uh, he might not be strong enough to actually take both of these down. So let's have a look at the bottom battlefield, where Magic is moving just inches, inches by a minute, and that's so slow but at the same time so inevitable that it might be strong enough and if JSS can't push through strong enough on the right side it might not be enough yeah unfortunately for you the game is conquest so they don't really need to worry about it 
about the wonder. So yep, that's absolutely no good idea. Well, well, well. I'm not exactly sure that it's going to be any good here. And yeah, finally someone told him that probably <laughs> that it's a conquest, so that would be just a waste of resources of thousand of each. Hellenic has made his way to his PC that he needs to write our repair with all the abilities that he can. Uh, Helepoli dead and some extra mercenaries maybe quite helpful here, but they are not making an appearance yet, because they are probably engaged in the forefront. And Tito is slightly late at this point, but I don't think really it will matter all that much, because the army from Hellenic will die, and Magic will just retake the TC and be at 5 TCs in just a moment. The Titan in the middle is almost at half health, so the extra population limit from JSS is doing its job, with all the Helepoli and the huge amount of Colossal, Colossi at this point, and he will be... I think pretty much dead by the time that this Titan from Hellenic makes his way into the bases of his opponents. At the bottom, uh, Earth is still doing an absolutely great job in defending it against a much stronger opponent, and Hellenic is right now trying to help as much as he can with some extra Petroboli, trying to make sure that Magic is not having an easy time of having the front EC from Earth and well. Uh, <laughs> I magic is trying to make sure that that doesn't happen. That the sorry, the TTC is still up, and once uh, these towers and especially this fortress is down, he should be in a proper one v one again. But Colossi are strictly in, and possibly some extra army as well from those military academies. And it seems like Hellenic is decidedly going to help Earth, and that's the very correct decision because of these mercenaries they cannot lose them. Because if they do, there's going to be a whole lot of pop limit, pre pop limit that would be me, would be terribly missed. Hellenic is making a very nice uh, attempt at the beachhead inside Titus base, or inside between Titu and Magic. That's definitely a problem that Titu somehow needs to take care of. Yeah, with the Titan already being dead, taking down just one TC and basically just stalling what was happening there. That didn't do a whole lot, and Magic recognizes that he can't actually kill his opponent before the Titan arrives. And well, that's GG and Regen, even though they won at the score quite nicely. They lost in the game, and Mythical Zeusis prevailed here. So a pretty good job, and JSS advanced into the playoffs, and will play against Absolats. Good job, and Regen will fight for redemption in the League Cup. So that was one hell of a game here. One hell of a game, I have to say. My magic, well, of course, when he was at so many TCs and the fast boom from him, of course, but then Chef, and he just kicked in from the two TCs into six. Well, yeah, that's what you get when you let that out of your control. There was the game was basically lost when uh, LMB wasn't able to take down on the front TC or either the base TC from Chef. At the point, it was basically lost and just wasn't somehow able to recuperate from his Ragnarok fast enough. So, yeah, it's basically the whole problem there. But it was looking very, very promising from him, for him and his allies as well. 105,000 of gold. Decent amount. Decent military count and units killed. Most of those are going to be mercenaries. You're going to see soon enough. Uh, yep, 203 mercenaries from Magic. <laughs> the Ulf Sark, of course, but they are from the uh, economy units from the villagers. Aspists, chariots, well, 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 pretty nice. Gold Colossus 25. But mummies, we didn't really see enough of them to take care of those colossi, which is kind of curious when you think about it. But Magic was kind of intent on taking his opponent out slightly slower than his team needed. Quite a lot of food by T2. It wasn't needed at all. But at gold, well, absolutely zero for everybody. Well, <laughs> that's curious. Not even at the trade lines. 
to buy enough gold to have a surplus for absolutely anyone. Well, GG.